Well, Eric Gordon, the beloved CEO of CMSD, holds that title for just three more days. I sat down with him today and asked what he's taking with him. He emphatically answered gratitude. And then I asked him if there was a student in his 12 years as CEO that changed him. He did not hesitate to tell me about that one. A young person got put through to my office. He was a middle school student, and he was really flustered and really upset. And he said, you're the superintendent, right? You need to help me. And I was trying to calm him down. My principal, and he was going on and on. And he said, OK, we're going to solve this. And um, I said, where do you go to school? And he explained that he goes to a charter school. And I said, oh, you know, I'm not your superintendent. And he goes, what do you mean? You're supposed to help. And I thought, you know, he's right. Why are we fighting about who owns children, charter school or public school, no, district school? Why aren't we fighting about why kids aren't all getting a quality education? And that was a moment that I changed my point of view on the relationship with our charter schools. And I've never met that kid. So you don't know what happened? With I, that I don't know the rest of the story other than I left that call changed. So when I asked what advice he has for Dr. Warren Morgan, who's going to be sitting in the CEO chair next week, Gordon said, a youth agenda. We have to focus on what it's like to be a kid in this town. And, and when that improves, when poverty improves, when lead impact improves, when safety in the community improves, the education will keep improving and will accelerate faster. He also told me what he's learned as CEO that he will take to his next endeavor at Tri-C and how he'll use that. And also, he has one regret for his time in office. He'll talk to us about that. Coming up for you at 6.